Hi, this is Dr. Rugenstein, and uh, we're looking at something uh, about cemeteries today. This is a historic cemetery. It's the Lansingburg Village Burying Grounds. It was established in 1770. And uh, Lansingburg was its own separate village for, well, up until 1900, and then it became part of Troy. So let's look at this historic uh, cemetery. So as I said, it was established in 1770. This says it was established in 1785 as Lansingburg Village Cemetery. Graves include soldiers of the Revolutionary War, 1812, and the Civil War. I don't know why it says Civil Wars, but Civil War. And so we will take a quick look here. Revolutionary soldiers. Buried here, placed here by this New York State Organization of the North South Daughters of the American Revolution. Or not quite sure what that stands for, but in any case. Most of them are marble, old, of course, broken off. We see a few things in here. We we see our uh, different statuary, a couple of obelisks, not surprising. This one here, eighteen twenty-four to eighteen eighty. Some of these, it's, it's a shame that they used marble. But at the time, they weren't thinking about the types of things that we think of today. Certainly longevity, but um, I don't think they realized what the weather would be doing. And frankly, since our weather has become more acidic, it is taking these out faster. Soon, some of these won't even be able to be read. Some of them already hard for them to be read. This one here, for example. Really don't know who, who it was. Some are broken. Uh, somebody... 46 years old, died in 1820. I'm not sure. Even the obelisks are worn down here. Some are just toppled over. Probably the writing on those are better than some of the others. Looks like he was 11 years old. Uh, some urns. If you look at my series, you'll, obelisk and urns are in the series about cemetery statuary. But again, very hard to, very hard to read. He was born in March. It looks 1780. Died. Hard to say. 1813. Probably died in the uh, War of 1812. is a little bit different. Thirty-five years old. It's 
So these are soldiers. Some of these are soldiers. Some of it is just, I think, Lansingburg original cemetery. John S. Johnson. Died 1803, it looks like, age 22. Died young. John S. Johnson. Here's Isaac Johnson. Died January 20th, 27th, I should say. 1801, 23 years, 8 months, Charles Johnson, 4 years, 6 months, I wonder if it was like a fire or something. years and two months. Odd when you see that sort of thing. And there's one way in the back here. We'll take a look at that. Oh, unfortunately, it's just a repository of garbage now. I don't know. And this one. Thomas. Sporting. Again, very hard. Because of all marble. Historic Cemetery here in Lansingburg, now thought of as Northern Troy. In some respects, this was some sort of a mausoleum, grave site, something. Yeah, hard to read. This is Dorothy something Earp. Well, it was pretty big, whatever it was. It's just a shame these are, well, again, who's gonna be taking care of them? Here's one that's been redone. Revolutionary War soldier, 1757 to 1823. I wonder if he, I doubt he fought in the War of 1812, but he could have, but he was a private in the Revolutionary War, so I, I doubt it. There's another one, Continental Line, Revolutionary War, 1837 to 18, oh something. Maybe they couldn't read it either. So that is our look at the Lansingburg Historic Cemetery. And uh, as I say, in the 1700s, some discrepancy on the signs, but that happens many times. Someone redoes a book, but someone does more research, and all of a sudden they find that, uh, well, we were wrong. Well, I'm walking on here. Must have been the main entrance at one time. On the other side of the road is the historic Catholic cemetery. But uh, you probably see it over there. A few obelisks. A few things that maybe had a weeping angel or something at one time. 
a pedestal of some sort, but overall, uh, it's showing its marvelous age. So with that, please subscribe, tell others, look at the uh, Stork Cemetery playlist, ring the bell, all that sort of stuff. But in any case, thanks for watching. Have a good day.